king and the world was his kingdom but what happened was when sin in the God Almighty he lost his dominion and what I want to say to men if you want to be the king in your house good God Almighty stay faithful to the Lord stay faithful to your wife good God Almighty and I know the Bible said look what the Bible said said man you ought to love your woman as Christ loved the church and gave himself for the church but look on what he said he said woman respect your husband but good God almighty it's hard for a woman to respect her husband if he don't know how to love her our oh, Lord one day God's going to allow me to preach from the love affair between Israel and God good God almighty well that's for another day but you got to love God with all your heart and your mind good God almighty and so man fell from his rightful place and now I got to deal with as I get ready to close now I want you to understand something about the kingdom Jesus preached Oh, when he began to preach his messages, it was the kingdom of heaven was like unto good God Almighty. I got a few things I want you to understand about the kingdom. When you think about the kingdom, amen, you think about a king. First of all, a king can't be a king without a kingdom. Now, I want you to understand, if you look at the word king, kingdom, you get, amen, king, which is a person. And if you look at D-O-M, at the end of kingdom, if you add A-I-N, kingdom, a king must have a kingdom. He must have a domain, a territory that he ruled over. And if Jesus is king in your life, he's going to rule in your life. Not some areas, but all areas. You know what's wrong with it. Sometimes we treat salvation and Jesus like it's a house. You know how we build a house? We fix it up real good. I don't understand this. I was just telling my wife the other day, say you go out and you buy this expensive furniture. Good God Almighty. You know what I'm talking about, Brother Mac. Amen. Amen. You say, Lord. Oh, you know, you know what you say. It's all right for people to go in this bathroom. It's all right to go to this bedroom. But you got a certain room in your house. Good God Almighty. That you don't want nobody to go in. Bet not shut on my furniture. That's the way we treat God. You say, God, you can come in this room. You can come in that room. Good God Almighty. But God, don't go there. to be king and he got the rule of all territory in your life I tell them sometime you know what I tell them over civil war I tell them if a man and woman will give God his heart God already got his pocketbook good God Almighty oh Lord give him your heart your pocketbook. Everything belong to the Lord. Good God Almighty. Solomon was a king and he ruled a large kingdom. Good God Almighty. I'm getting ready to close now. But what I come to tell you is when you think about a kingdom amen it denotes a king. Somebody in authority. If you study 
the kingdom one thing you understand is the king has to take care of his subjects to God Almighty this is why God said I will supply all your needs according to my riches and glory and this is why Paul said now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above more than you can actually think somebody said God is king over my life it's not good enough to accept him as savior but he's got to be lord and king good God almighty turn to your neighbor and say I'm a king's kid I know the kingdom of heaven some of the violence in the valley taken by forth but I come to tell you what happened was Jesus took dominion back over the devil he took dominion back over the kingdom this is why he said he said Peter who do me in say that I am Peter said some say that thou art prophet to God Almighty but see God got personal with him say who do you say that I am he said that I say that you are the Christ the son of the living God and look what he told him he said Peter Peter I have given you the keys first of all he told him upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it and then he said I'm giving you the keys to the kingdom somebody shout kingdom if you got keys to the kingdom good God almighty I can give you the keys to that van out there amen but if you don't ever go out there amen and figure out that those keys unlock that van and crank up that van that's your fault I'm telling you that the kingdom of heaven some of the violence and the violence taken by force but I'm going to tell you that Jesus already paid the price Genesis 3 and 5 when Adam sinned amen he said that God will he would put an enemy between you and the woman and between your seed and the seed shall bruise in your head and you shall bruise your heel God was telling the devil that what would happen on Calvary Jesus got the victory and won on Calvary good God almighty he suffered he bled and he died good God almighty I come to tell you this morning as I get ready to close now good God almighty I just got a couple things I want you to remember about the kingdom John said and from the days of John the Baptist this introduces John introduces the kingdom and he said unto now unto now speaks of Christ who bring in the new covenant somebody say the new covenant the new covenant of the kingdom good God almighty suffered the violence of the crucifixion that Christ would pay on Calvary I come to tell you the weapons may form but it won't prosper turn to your neighbor and tell them the enemy is trying to steal to kill and to destroy he forming weapons on the right hand and on the left you gotta get this this morning yes they may form but the Lord said it won't prosper turn to your neighbor say it won't work it won't work it won't work it won't work I don't know about you let them fall but they won't work he's already been small God has already got dominion over the enemy and I'm closing but I want to leave
leave you five things about the kingdom. The God Almighty. Five things about the kingdom. The kingdom is within you. Good God Almighty. Luke 17, 2 and 21 tells us, and when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered and said, the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Neither shall they say, lo here and lo there, but the whole the kingdom is in me. That's what inspired the writer to write. There's a king in me. Good God Almighty. You know what I tell him sometimes? Right on. King Jesus. Right on. When I see him stand up in this body of mine, he began to prophesy sometimes. I said, right on. When the Holy Ghost began to bubble in my belly, I said, right on, King Jesus, good God Almighty. But not only that, not only is the kingdom within you, but there's a characteristic of the kingdom, good God Almighty, which is the Beatitudes. But not only that, Matthew 7 and 21 said, now everyone that said, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But they that do the will of him that sent me, you got to understand, because you say, Lord, Lord, don't mean you possess the character. See, that's kingdom character. That's a certain way that we ought to act. We shouldn't act up when somebody cuss us out. You know, if somebody cuss us out, we might cuss them back out. You know what I'm saying? Say, God, and you say, child, if she say that to me, I'm going to lay my religion down. But what I come to tell you, you don't have enough of it to lay it down. Somebody might pick it up. Good God Almighty. I'm not going to lay Jesus down. I'm going to keep him before me. I'm going to hide my, his word in my heart that I may not sin against him. I got to move on now. Now we're going to talk about receiving kingdom power. You got to receive the power of the kingdom. Acts 1 and 8 tells us, but ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. You shall be witnesses both in Jerusalem and all Judea and the uttermost parts of the earth. Somebody say witness. Good God Almighty. You ought to be witness for Jesus. And then, fourthly, amen, that we are a kingdom priest. God has made us priests of the kingdom. Exodus 19 and 6, it says, And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and holy nation. Amen. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Somebody say holy, a holy nation unto God. First Peter 2 and 9, but ye shall be a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye shall show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into the morning light. Somebody say he called me out of darkness into the morning light. Good God Almighty, he called me that I should show forth his praise. This is why David said his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Yes, good God Almighty, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Then I want to tell you that the kingdom suffers tribulation. 
This is why Paul.